Hello, welcome to the RC Block. I'm Jamie Nitro and here I have the Howen L6 engine. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust the valve assembly so that you get the most performance out of this engine and we're going to do that with just a cross wrench and a pair of bent needle nose pliers. And that's all you need. Now what I've gone and done is I've marked out my crankshaft so that I have marked each cylinder out at TDC so all I have to do is now rotate the crankshaft to that mark and then I know that I'm at TDC for whichever cylinder we're working on now when I'm doing these I do two cylinders at a time uh, so right now I'm working on the middle two cylinders and I've already have this in position so uh, to work on these two valves right here now if I take my thumb or finger and feel back here these feel like they're both the same so they're closed and this one feels like the exhaust valve is a little bit open so i want to do the closed valves first and what we want to do is take our slave nut here and install them and make sure that everything goes down and it lines up nicely if these this is not your first time doing it you might have a little bit of mark from uh, using wrenches or pliers on these slave nuts make sure you put the good end down now what I want to do here is look for just a hair of up and down travel uh, enough that I can feel it but not really even see it all right there you go and then once you have that, that, that tells you that this here, the rocker arm is loose here, but it's not pressing down or opening the valve at all. I mean, when the valve is supposed to be closed, you don't want it to be open or slightly open at all. You want them to be closed and sealed nicely. So I'm going to take this lock nut now and just bring it so it touches the brass slave nut. And you'll see the brass slave nut just want to turn like that. Same with this one. Do the same thing. Bring it down until you see the slave nut just turn. There you go. Now I can go ahead and rotate the engine because I want to make sure that I'm not causing any binding on any of the push rods. So I'm going to rotate and I'm going to watch for the valve to go down, so the exhaust valve going down. Now look at the valve spring cap, make sure that it's not going past flush because that's at the point where you could start binding. So right now I still have movement, I'm almost at full stroke and I'm at full stroke now. And I still have a little bit of movement but I have a little bit too much movement. So I can tighten this down just a tad. There we go. Now, after you tighten it down, double check that you still have just the slightest amount of movement up and down. That tells you that you're at the full stroke, but you still have a little bit of play left in the valve. So you're not causing any binding at all. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the other rocker arm or other valve here. I'm going to rotate the engine now. Watch the intake valve go down. And as you're doing this, it's okay to press down and feel it. If at any point when you're rotating it, this feels tight at all, stop rotating immediately and, and just push down on that. It, if, uh, if you keep rotating and it is binding at all, you're going to bend something and... Uh, you know damage something we don't want to do that at all so you want to check your process as you're doing it make sure we're not fully uh causing any binding here so right now i do have a little binding on the intake valve so i can now take my pliers hold the brass slave nut i'm going to do an eighth of a turn and now i can tighten the slave nut into my lock nut and then i'm going to go Feel that I do have movement again and now I'm going to go ahead and keep opening 
and it looks like I'm at full stroke and I have a little bit of movement there so full stroke but no binding now I'm gonna go and tighten this down and then double check that I still have a little bit of movement there at full stroke and I do now with everything in place now your engine is ready to run you're not going to feel any binding all the valves are moving to its maximum now what I also like to do is I'll go through and check that each valve is moving freely nothing is pressing down going through yep. there we go so all valves move loosely side to side none of them feel like they're tight at all which is good I, I actually still have a bit of up and down play on all the open ones excellent is that cool? This one feels a little bit tight. So you know what? I'm going to sacrifice a little bit of stroke to ensure that I have fully closed valves. I'm going to take this back a sixteenth of a turn and then loosen off the slave nut and tighten everything together. Now, that does feel better. I have just a tad of up and down here. Perfect all my valves are now adjusted uh, this engine's ready to go on the top end so I hope you liked the video today if you like please subscribe and uh, join me for the next video good luck on your next build and thank you for watching have a great day